Thanks, Tony. This week is Feeding Tube Awareness Week, and we wanted to mark the occasion by getting you better acquainted with some of the devices that help both the old and the young get the nutrients that they need. Newsline 9's Anna Carrera joins us in studio with more. Anna. That's right, Melissa. Tonight we introduce you to a Cronenwetter couple whose daughter depends on a feeding tube every day. Two-and-a-half-year-old Allie Burnt loves learning new tricks from big sister Chloe. Hi. The girls are a lot alike, but there are differences. <laughs> Shortly after Allie was born, her parents noticed their second daughter just didn't have an appetite. They say her eating habits, or lack thereof, took a toll on their little girl. Well, it was hard because every parent just wants their child to eat, and it's just a natural thing to be hungry. Finally, one doctor came up with an idea. And the doctor asked, what do you think of the feeding tube? We kind of looked at each other and said, let's, let's just do it. Doctors gave Allie a Mickey button, which connects to a tube inside her body. Now mom and dad can feed her in a slightly unconventional way. Can you lift up? Doctors ran more tests and found out she had a few significant food allergies. Can you eat rice checks? Yeah. And string cheese? Yeah. But still, no solid reason for why little Allie won't eat. We almost think she really doesn't feel hunger. We're, we're not sure yet. We're still looking for answers. So the Burton family relies on this tiny tube, a lifeline for their daughter. With the feeding tube, she's getting all the nourishment that she needs. So she's on track, she's growing, and that's, that's the biggest hurdle. Four times a day, Allie needs a feeding. And when she goes to bed... A pump keeps her body full of the nutrients it needs. It's a lot of work, um, but obviously, you know, your child is worth it. Even though they don't know what the future will hold, the Burnt family feels grateful for the feeding tube that they say saved their daughter's life. She can, you know, play sports, do all the things that other kids can do with her feeding tube. She just eats a little bit differently. That's all. Allie gets about 99% of her food through her feeding tube. And if you want to find more information, there's going to be a link to the feeding tube awareness site on our web channel at WAOW.com.